to the mighty Pacific and beyond. This whale story is the ocean story, and it is one we all share. While they are found in every ocean, orcas living off the coast of Iceland are quite different than those near Costa Rica. In fact, there are at least 10 types or ecotypes of killer whales. An ecotype describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. Above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. natural wonder and today Keith will help me show you some of their physical characteristics. The blowhole is perfectly designed for getting a quick breath of air at the surface of the water. Even the location of their eyes works to their advantage. It looks like the eyes are in that white patch, but that's just a visual distraction. The eyes are actually located in the black area in front of the white patch, camouflaged from thrashing prey. The fin on top of the whale is called a dorsal fin and helps stabilize orcas when they're swimming and helps them to regulate their body temperature. The dorsal fin has no muscle or bone inside of it, which is why they come in all shapes and sizes. The flippers on either side of the whale's body are called pectoral flippers and are used mainly for steering and stopping. Pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside of them just like the human hand. And the lobes on either side of the tail are called flukes. 
The tail fluke is the killer whale's engine, propelling them to speeds of nearly 30 miles per hour. That's as fast as some speedboats, and they swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies all the way up and out of the water. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks, for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pod. And calls for group coordination and hunting. <laughs> 